Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, I just got done filming my favorite orange lipsticks and I decided I would just go ahead and do reds. So we're gonna do reds too. Um, the orange one's definitely gonna go up first, so this is gonna go up, I don't know, probably, I'll probably set it like a week after or something like that. But since we are gonna get into like Christmas time and maybe things will be a little better, might be able to wear some of these, but I definitely have more reds than I thought. I was surprised when I pulled all of these out, how many I have. I think I have the same, if not more than the orange, which is surprising because the orange ones, the orange is one of my favorite colors to wear. Reds, I don't wear often. So I'm not sure why I have this many because red is one of those colors I like it. I just don't like it on me necessarily, but we're gonna get into the ones that I have because again, the ones that I have, I do like. So, if you wanna see what my favorite reds are, then just keep on watching. Make sure you subscribe, um, cause you won't wanna miss out on my more fall Halloween-y videos. And yeah, we're gonna jump in. Just like in my red. last one, um, we'll do lipsticks, like bullet lipsticks and liquid lipsticks. I actually have more like stick lipsticks that are red than I do liquid lipsticks. Cause I'm particular on the liquid lipsticks apparently, but um, we'll start off with my very favorite um, one, which is the Snow White from ColourPop's Disney Princess collection. I keep it in the box because the packaging is just gold and has their names on it, whereas the box actually has the cute little artwork. But this is the red that I do wear the most often. And this is a true, like I would call this a classic red. The formula is comfortable. It's long wearing, it's pretty just very nice standard red. I do get compliments when I wear this one. So generally, if you see me wear a red, it's usually this, the Too Faced one, or the NARS, generally. Next, I do have one from NYX, and I think I bought this because I didn't have any like stick red lipsticks at the time, and I, I've worn it a handful of times. This is in the shade Perfect Red. So again, it's not too orange, not too blue, just more standard classic red. You can see it's not quite as deep as the ColourPop one, but just a straight, straight red. I think blue-based reds look better on me, which you would think I would like like more of like the corally red ones, but I don't know, it doesn't make sense. This one I've never actually used. I got this as a free, gift when I bought a um, sweatshirt from a influencer. This is from Models Own. This, I've had it for a while, so I don't want to give it away, but it's, I think I kept it because I was like, oh, I don't have that many reds, so let's swatch her. This is probably the only one in here that I would say is not like a favorite, but that's not a bad shade. I've had it for too long, so I wouldn't like be comfortable to give it away, but that's another at least it's a shade more like the ColourPop one. So has a potential of being worn. And then this one came in a subscription box. I think, I don't know why I swatched it. Oh no, this came in the giveaway. I think that I got, um, I won a, um, a giveaway from just Anne. And I think this is the lipstick. So this is in the shade midnight. I probably shouldn't have swatched it just because it is a red, but it's a pretty, it is a pretty red. I wasn't thinking. When new reds come in now, I generally don't keep them, but that again is a shade of red where it's like that neutral shade. So we have that one. Um, another Medusa's makeup, I had one in my orange one. This is in red square. The only thing I don't like is that the packaging is all black and the sticker on the bottom doesn't tell you what color it is. I have a bunch of Medusa's makeup lipstick so I have to open every single one. This is a little bit pinkier of a red but their formula is really comfortable. Again because it's a glossier formula it's not as long wearing as like the ColourPop one which is over here but it is comfortable. I like that Bite, Bite Beauty last holiday did their monochromatic sticks because again, with the Bite lipsticks, I have to open every single one because I don't remember what the names are. 
This one's in Cherry Truffle. This is from last year's Christmas collection and I haven't even swatched it, but this is more of a vampy red. It is a little bit glossier, but it's got a little more brown in it than like the, these ones down here on the bottom. We're getting into the little vampier territory. And then the other one is Tannin, and it's vampier still. This was there like from two years ago. I have worn this one quite a bit because I do like a vampy red more than like a straight true red. My favorite vampy lipstick is Chateau. It's a matte X. I don't even know if ColourPop still makes these. I've had this for a while. I had this one before Mike and I started dating and we will be, have been together for four years in January. It doesn't smell bad. When lipsticks turn, you can smell it, but like that straight up, almost plummy, borderline black, but it's, it's such a pretty shade and it's a comfortable matte formula. So I'm going to keep this until it expires. Like I said, when lipsticks turn, you can smell it. And the other one is in Poison. I don't know why I ordered this one. It was an impulse buy. But again, it's a vampy. More vampy red. Not quite as, um, this looks almost black when you wear it, but it's a pretty, I like wearing it around the holiday time. The, um, Poison and Chateau. Yeah, I like wearing Chateau around Christmas time. I don't know why. I will do a vampy red before I'll do a true red. One of my other like favorite ones, this is Cinnamon Bear from Too Faced. This was part of their holiday collection two years ago. It's pretty. We're running out of space. I have more reds than I have oranges, which is interesting to me. Little deeper, but it's pretty. Kind of has a cinnamon smell, I guess. There's a smell, but like not a bad smell. It's scented, but not as strong as what you would think some on my nail here. It's like staining my finger. That's nice. And then my other, like another favorite, this is a NARS mini and this is in Star Woman. Again, I like minis because I have too many lipsticks and I'm never, the Too Faced and the NARS are a little bit drying, but when it does dry down, it's not going anywhere. You can see it's kind of a wet formula. It's starting to like bleed into the lines, but it does dry down. Those, so those are like, again, the, when the NARS one does dry down, it's not going anywhere, but it is a little bit drying. I do have a Medusa's um, Metal AF lip gloss. Um, I had one of these in my orange video. This is my red one. This is in Cherry Pie. I do, this is probably the red that I wear most often on the holidays. And again, like a funky wand, but it's pretty. So if you can get past the applicator, it's a good formula. So you can see again, it's a little more like Chateau as in tone and it is metallic. So there is going to be a little bit of a reflect, but it does dry down completely and it's not going anywhere. And these are pretty inexpensive. They're like eight or nine dollars, but I do like the formula of these because these are not coming off. Once it dries down, it's not going anywhere. Another metallic that I like is from Jeffree Star. This is in Poinsettia. I think I got this in my Halloween mystery box, which I wasn't mad at because this is a pretty color. He has a good formula. It's a little more red on the red side than my um, cherry pie one from Medusa's makeup. So I was glad to get this shade. And then the last one is ooh, from Ofra and this is in Brickle. And I have worn this in videos and I do get compliments. This one does not dry down completely. The Ofra liquid lipsticks do not dry down completely. It is a very comfortable formula, but you have to be careful. See, there it is right there. It is pretty. It's just, again, it's a true classic red. So those are all of my reds. Again, let me know which one was your favorite. Um, 
I probably won't do any more unless I get requests to do purple. I have a bunch of greens, actually. I could do a green and blue video. I have enough. I could do one um, on more unique shades. Uh, could, if people want to see all of my mauves and nudes, I don't mind swatching them all. But yeah, I, again, don't wear red often, but these are all ones that I do like. So, and would recommend to you. So thank you guys so, so much. Hopefully this wasn't too boring. Make sure you subscribe before you leave. And again, let me know which one was your favorite. Let me know if you want me to do any more of these. Everybody, please stay safe and hopefully you all have a wonderful rest of your day. I love you all. Bye everybody.